church has never approved them. Um, these uh, false prophecies have been attributed to various saints, Blessed Henry, Teji, even Padre Pio. It never came from them. The Source of the Three Days of Darkness is a book published in France in 1872 and uh, written by this abbey, uh, C-U-R-I-C-Q-U-E. The book is full of false prophecies and uh, predictions. The section regarding the Three Days of Darkness is placed in quotations as it came, as if it came directly from West Anne Teji, but in fact somebody else made it up. The prophecies regarding the Three Days of Darkness are false for several reasons. The Three Days of Darkness were scheduled to play, take place during the reign of Pope Pius IX. It was 1846 to 1878. Okay, this never occurred. It also stated that during the reign of the succeeding pope, who was Leo XIII, the Russians will be converted as well as England and China, and all the faith will be filled with joy in beholding this overwhelming triumph of the church. So it's connected with that prophecy of the three days of darkness. And it's, it's a historical fact that China and Russia were not converted. They're just a small number. We're, uh, the Oxford movement were converted in England. Recent writings of the Three Days of Darkness purposely leave out these portions of the prophecy. If anyone's interesting, to, it's inter also interesting to note the superstitious elements in the Three Days of Darkness. One, anyone who looks out or goes out will die immediately. <laughs> Two, only blessed candles will, will light and nothing will put them out in the houses of believers. However, they will not light in the houses of the godless. Three. Holy water is to be drunk and used as an anointing for all the senses. While people, for while people will die if they are outside, animals will not, especially those petted by believers. <laughs> <laughs> those traveling on the road will die as martyrs. And then the great curse: those who disregard this advice will be killed instantly. <laughs> Only certain foods should be eaten during the three days of darkness. One list includes the miraculous sustaining grapes associated with Mama Rosa Quattrini and her false apparitions in San Damiano, Italy. Obviously, these stipulations are not part of Catholic doctrine or tradition. The Church teaches, um, and anyway, the most important thing is stay in the state of grace and all the rest. So, um, it just, it's just another uh, trap, just false. Uh, not old lies being brought back 